my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be me attempting to dupe some of my higher end foundations. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I've been working on this video and I really wanted to discuss possible dupes to a lot of the high end foundations that are out there. I do have quite a few drugstore foundations. And as you know, if you're familiar with my channel, I have been reviewing a lot of high end foundations. And as I review those foundations, I'm thinking in the back of my head, hmm, this is like this, or hmm, this foundation is like that. So in this video, I'm going to talk about five high-end foundations and some possible dupes. So the things that I looked at when deciding what I felt would dupe the higher-end foundation was texture. I also looked at the first several ingredients and of course the dry down time. You know, how is it going to look after the foundation actually dries? So the last thing that I wanted to say before I get into it, if you think that there are other affordable foundations out there that mimic or that are very similar to the high-end foundations that I will be mentioning in the video, please let us know down in the comments because as you all know, folks read the comments and you know, there, truth be told, there's a wealth of information in the comments of uh, videos that are posted. So let's just get into the first one. All of these foundations, but one, I do have a video on, and I will post all of those videos down in the description box. So, you know, if you're interested, some of them are old, and if you look at them, you will probably get a really good laugh. <laughs> so just kind of ignore that. So the first one I want to talk about is the Pure 4 in 1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. And as you all know, this foundation boasts a lot. It is is you can use it as a concealer it has 100 shades and mainly outside of the number of foundations that they have they boast to have a lot of ingredients and be very good for the skin and the dupe that I have for that one would be the physicians formula healthy foundation brightening complex okay and this is it right here and the, and in these two foundations they both share two of the same ingredients I'll list, I'll list them somewhere on the screen also the finish is the same with these foundations. They feel, to me, they feel exactly the same on the skin, even after hours of wear, they feel the same. And I forgot to say in the beginning, when I'm talking about how a foundation finishes, I don't use primers. I basically just use my regular skincare and I go in with my foundation. And I think a lot of you all know that just by watching older videos, but I would definitely say this physician's formula is definitely a dupe for the pure four in one, love your selfie foundation. All right. So this next one please don't kill me when I show you this but I'm going to talk about the new Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Foundation and the dupe that I have for that one is the Maybelline Poreless Foundation. These foundations dry down the same they feel the same to me. Also when you look at the first what five or six ingredients they share four of the same ingredients and as many of you all know when you get when you're talking about the first set of ingredients in a particular foundation or eyeshadow or whatever, those ingredients are pretty much going to have the highest content. So to me, they have the same finish, the same wear time. It's just the price is drastically different. You know, and I think that most everybody probably has this Maybelline foundation. So let me know what you think about this one. All right. So the next one I want to talk about is the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour foundation. All right. So this one is supposed to be a matte foundation. And the dupe that I came up with for this one is the Morphe Fluidity Foundation. These foundations are both matte. They both dry down the same and the texture is also the same. As far as the first six or seven ingredients, they only share about two ingredients. The only difference that I would say as far as these two is this one is just a little bit more mattifying than this matte Smashbox foundation. If you are oily and you produce oils like I don't know what, this Morphe foundation would be a really good one. And once the foundation is applied and it dries down, it looks exactly the same. All right, so this next one is a new one that I recently reviewed, and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, what is this, Luminous Foundation. Okay, 
<laughs> Alright, so, so in my video, I had some thoughts about this one, but I immediately thought about the Born to Glow Foundation by NYX. These two dry down exactly the same. Okay, they have the same finish. Now, but what I will say is be careful with the number of layers that you use when you're using these foundations because to me, they can begin to feel a little bit thick and heavy on the skin. When I did this review, I used used one layer and it was perfectly fine and also you can use a sponge that will thin out the foundation as well these actually share three of the same ingredients but if you had your eye on this foundation but may not have the funds to afford it you could definitely get the NYX and let me tell you you're gonna have the same finish as this foundation all right and next I have the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Powder Foundation okay I'll hold it like that so it won't be a glare and the dupe for it is the new Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. Okay, so the only thing that is different from this one is that you're going to reach the full coverage quicker with the Clinique. But outside of that, they are very similar. Now, as far as the ingredients, I didn't see anything that was the same in the first uh, six or seven ingredients. But this one, this Maybelline foundation is a dupe for this one. I think the wear time is consistent. You don't get a cakey type of look with either foundation. And I think that the application is the same. The finish is the same. Uh, just the overall look on these two is uh, definitely the same. This one uh, $29 and this one is I think uh, $10 at Walgreens it may be cheaper than that but definitely a dupe all right so this next one is the all popular Pat McGrath and this is her new foundation and it's a nice foundation and the foundation that I have in my collection that closely resembles that is the L'Oreal infallible 24 what is this 24 fresh water so these share three of the same ingredients when you're looking at the first six ingredients one of them being alcohol their consistency is the same they are both uh, runny which means if you squirt them on your on the back of your hand and you hold your hand up they're going to drip down um, they dry down exactly the same and they feel the same the only thing that is drastically different is the price um, this one in my opinion um, the Pat McGrath foundation um, here lately I've been applying it with my hands and I don't set it for this foundation as well I do not set it I only use the smallest amount in both of these and I use a sponge and for me, I just don't set it. I don't, um, if I'm going to be using a foundation on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't like to set it uh, because I don't want that heavy look while out in the public. Now, when I'm reviewing a foundation on, you know, for you all, I will set some foundations just so you all can see what they look like. But if you apply a thin layer with both of these, especially if you use a sponge, you can get away with not setting it especially if you're dry uh, but if you have oily skin definitely set it but these two are very very similar and i honestly believe if you have this one you can get the same type of look as this foundation and even though the pat mcgrath is like a sheer to medium coverage i feel as though you can build this one up to the level of intensity as the l'oreal foundation so that's just something to keep in mind so yeah that's pretty much it those are the dupes that I have in my collection have you tried any of the foundations that I've talked about do you feel that there could be some other dupes versus the ones that I mentioned let me know down in the comments I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches and I think it's important to talk about affordable foundations that you can purchase instead of, you know, spending money on instead. And I think it's important. And I think it's important or runny or, um, um, uh, but of course this, and of course this, but, and of course this is simply, and of course this is simply my take on. So that is going to affect, so that is going to affect. So with that being said, you know, okay. 
And I feel like that I feel like that has never affected and I feel like that's never affected the wear. So as many of